To begin the uneven slip stitch on a curved hem, use a curved ruler and a piece of chalk to mark a curve on your fabric sample. Next, cut the line where you marked so that you have a curved edge at the bottom of your sample as if to replicate a hem. At a sewing machine, set your stitch length to five for basting stitch and baste a quarter inch away from the raw edge of your fabric. We're going to use this as a gathering stitch so that we can cinch up the distance between point A and point B so that it matches when we turn the hem up. Clip your threads long and then head over to the iron to press the quarter inch seam allowance up. This should be directly on your stitch line. Next, you'll fold your fabric up one half inch using a ruler to make sure the distance between the turn of the cloth and the edge of the fabric is one half inch. You can use as many pins as you need in order to hold your fabric in place. And note that often the seam allowance will vary it might not necessarily be a half inch in real life application. Next, you can tug on the basting stitch if necessary in order to make it so that the curve fits nicely into your sample or onto your hem. Collect a hand sewing needle and thread and tie a knot at the end of the thread. Next, you're going to put the needle in between the tunnel of fabric where the turn of the cloth of the seam allowance and the raw edges and the pressed line. Poke your needle up through the turn of the cloth so that you can hide your thread into the sample. And then you're going to take a small bite of fabric, just a couple of threads, a couple of yarns from the outside. And then you're going to put the needle through the tunnel where the turn of the cloth is and pull the needle through. This is our slip stitch. If you imagine the slip stitch like a bunny rabbit taking a bite of carrot on the outside world where the yarns are in the fabric and then going back into their tunnel and hiding the carrot in the tunnel, this is a great analogy in order for you to remember how to do this stitch. Continue your slip stitch to the end of the fabric, making sure that you do not see the thread marks or the thread bites on the other side or the technical face of the fabric. Once you get to the end, you will place your needle through the fabric and then you're going to wrap the thread around the needle two to three times. This will create a tight knot that will be at the base of your thread. Next, you're going to take your needle and hide it in the tunnel of your fabric so that the thread tail is secured. Clip the thread tail close to the base of the fabric. Be sure that you don't see any marks on the other side. Press the hem and you have now completed your slip stitch.